welcome to richa rig enhance english hello everyone i am richa singh today i am here to help new beginners so this video is specially dedicated for the beginners who have started to learn and started to frame sentences in english so please watch this video till the end so that you get better knowledge about it also you get to know some of the grammatical aspects of it let's begin I hope now everybody you are ready to learn sentence structure. Now in sentence structure we are going to talk about how differently a sentence can be framed also sentence can be joined all together. Let's see for that how and what we have in today's learning. We have simple sentences compound sentences and complex sentences we will have a deep overview over these three uh, sentences simple compound and complex sentences i hope you are ready to know about it if you already know it uh, please revise the content and stay tuned in the video keep watch it till the end let's begin the lesson let's talk about simple sentence now what simple sentence are how we can determine a sentence whether it is a simple compound or complex so for that let's see what's here a complete sentence as you all know that a sentence consists a verb and a subject also it should complete a thought similarly here simple sentences have uh, a subject and a verb it has one independent clause also completes a thought is called a simple sentence let's get to know more about it in detail by learn some examples first example is he goes with his friend now here in this sentence if you uh, take a glance and you can see that here in this sentence we have he he is a subject of in this sentence and goes is a verb now if we simply say he goes does it make a sense but if we say he goes with his friend so it makes a complete thought that he goes with his friend not with teacher not with uh, parents but with friends so it is sharing a complete uh, meaning or a complete thought so here it is simple sentence now let's get to know more about it by looking at another example he looks at the beautiful building he is a subject looks is a verb and at the building at the beautiful building so now it is making a complete sense that he looks where does he look he looks at the beautiful building right and in this sentence we have one one verb and a subject and it also completes a thought let's see another example they are in the park for enjoying now can you figure out which one is subject and which one is a verb absolutely correct so there they is a subject and enjoying is a verb and in between whatever is written like they are in the park where they are enjoying they are enjoying in the park so here it is again making a complete sentence it has independent clause we open the door so although this sentence is quite short and quite small still it is making a sense and it also has a subject and a verb can you please quickly let me know which one is a subject or which one is a verb absolutely correct so we is a subject and open is a verb and what are they opening what what are we opening so we are opening a door so now it makes a sense and it shares a complete meaning of it 
So I hope you all have understood simple sentences. Let's look another type of sentence structure that is called a compound sentence. Do you have any idea about it? I hope you have heard compound interest in accountancy if you have studied. So in compound, we uh, in compound interest, interest gets compound, interest gets double or maybe it increases at certain amounts. Similarly, in compound sentences also we double something or we triples also. And this we do with the help of some of the conjunctions which I am going to share. Now, if you see on the screen, you are able to see that it has two or more independent clauses. So in simple sentence, we had one independent clause. In compound sentence, we mostly have two or more than two independent clause. And these clauses, we will join with the help of coordinating conjunctions. Now what conjunctions are? This I will share in another upcoming videos. Now right now, just have a look of it, what conjunctions are. So I hope you have heard little bit about fanboys. Let's see what each letter of this fanboys means. So F, st F stands for for, A stands for and, N stands for nor, B stands for but, O stands for or, Y stands for yet and so stands for S stands for so. So I hope you have understood. So these are called coordinating conjunctions which helps in joining two sentences. Let's get to know more about it uh, by looking at some examples. So Poonam opened the door and she went outside. That P Poonam in this sentence Poonam opened the door is a separate one sentence. She went outside. It also shares a complete meaning. She went outside. It is also a separate sentence. But we have joined these two things with the help of conjunction that is and. And now if you figure out as in definition it was mentioned that it has two or more independent clauses or uh, two or more independent subject also we can say that we have in this sentence. So if you talk see here so punam is a subject and open is a verb in this sentence. If we talk about another one, she is also a subject and went is also a verb. So here in this complete sentence, we have two subjects and two verbs. It means two separate sentences we have joined with the help of and. So it is, I hope you have understood. Let's know it more if you are still confused about it. It was the sunny day, so I applied sunscreen. Now, it was the sunny day is a separate sentence which is making a thought and it also has a subject and a verb. I applied a sunscreen, it also has a sub separate subject and separate verb. So, here I applied, I is a subject, applied is a verb, it is a subject, sunny was a, sunny is a verb. And we have joined this sentence with the help of so conjunction, so coordinating conjunction. So two separate sentences, two separate independent clauses were there and we joined these two separate independent clauses all together with the help of so. Let's see, here you have to figure out which one is a subject and which one is a verb and how many subjects and verbs are here. Can you please read this sentence? I am also reading it for you. She danced a lot, yet she wasn't tired. I hope now you have figured out which one is the subject. Absolutely correct. So here she is a subject and uh, danced is a verb. In another one, she is a subject and tired is a verb. And we have joined coordinating conjunction that is yet. So yet is helping joining these two sentences. Now let's see this example. I will eat an ice cream and they will eat some sweets. So here I is subject, eat is a verb, 
there is a subject it is a verb so again we have two subjects two verbs and uh, what is happening which one is a coordinating conjunction and is a coordinating conjunction i hope now you uh, have understood what independent clauses are what simple sentences and what compound sentences are you do more practice you will understand it more now are you ready for the another type of sentence which will help in framing our sentences in a better way yes absolutely correct it is a complex sentence so complex as with the name itself you are able to understand that this is little bit complicated but you can easily understand if you know the rule of it so in complex sentences we have one independent clause and a dependent clause and dependent clause can be before or after the independent clause now you must be thinking what is independent clause and what is dependent clause i guess till now you have understood the dependent independent clause which we have talked in simple sentence and compound sentence now let's see what are dependent clause suppose i am speaking a sentence okay and another part of the sentence is dependent on the previous sentence so we are mostly if you talk about children children are most, mostly dependent on their family their parents right similarly um in sentences there are dependent clauses which are dependent on independent clause so independent clause has a subject verb and it completes a meaning also dependent clause adds another meaning to it let's see and learn it with the help of example now when he won the award when he won the award everyone cheered so if we simply talk about when he won the award so here when he won the award in this sentence you are able to see that he is a subject one is a verb right but if you talk about underlined uh, words that is second part of the sentence everyone cheered so in this are you able to figure out that everyone cheered is it making a complete sense everyone cheered where on what occasion on whom right so these questions are not clear over here but if we see and read previous sentence when he won the award everyone cheered so it means everyone cheered when somebody won the award so that is why it is underlined sentence underlined part of the sentence is a dependent clause because this is dependent on the previous part of this sentence now let's see another example of it it will be more clear to you wow i have saved i can buy a bike wow i have saved so suppose if you are talking about wow i have saved but are there any questions coming in your brain if you are listening to the sentence wow i have saved what have you saved when have you saved for which purpose have you saved right so these questions are not clear if you talk about it however in this part we have a subject and a verb but it is not sharing a complete thought but if we add on another section in this sentence that is i can buy a bike i have saved a bike and now purpose is clear of saving i have saved so that i can buy a bike i can buy a bike so first half is i hope now you have understood that first half is a dependent clause which is dependent on the second half of the sentence that is independent clauses i can buy a bike now let's see another sentence i took my umbrella because it was raining so if you are simply reading the sentence i took an umbrella so it makes a complete thought that okay you have taken an umbrella hmm and it is sharing a complete thought but if you talk about another set of the example uh, another part of the sentence that is because it was raining now it is making a complete sense we are adding it 
so if you simply share only it was raining it was raining so what did you do why are you sharing this information right so it, these things are not clear but when you read previous section of the sentence you are it is more clear right so that is why underlined one is dependent clause on and the part of the uh, sentence is not underlined that is independent clause now last last sentence is for you all and you all have to figure out which one is independent and which one is independent because it was raining i took my umbrella so here could you please figure out which one is independent and which one is dependent here yes absolutely and you got an idea by underlining uh, section also because it was raining because it was raining so i took my umbrella so first section of the sentence is dependent on the second section of the verb um, sentence right so that is why first section is dependent sentence and second sentence is independent clause i hope now you have better clear understanding regarding it if you have any confusion you can uh, read more about it in description i will add on some of the uh, links so that you get more understanding and more knowledge about it i so can we please quickly share what have you understood today so first we talked about simple sentences then compound sentences and then complex sentences so everybody i hope you all have learned simple compound and complex sentences keep on practicing keep on coming and watching the videos in upcoming week i will update some more grammatical videos to help you out like subscribe and share with your friends bye bye see you in next video